What is up YouTube? This is Nanashi back with another Y Schwartz deck profile video. This time I'll be showing you the changes and updates to my Gurren Logon deck. I am so glad I finally had an opportunity to really give this deck a real upgrade. The build I had before worked, but I could tell it could definitely be better. So I worked non-stop trying to find a way to make this deck better. And after a lot of research, and thanks to a lot of people on a lot of different Discord servers, I managed to give this deck plenty of opportunities to play in a lot of different ways so it didn't just stay in the same single lane. But you'll see what I mean when we take a closer look. Starting with the level 0 line, we have a play set of Bro Kamina. He's 3500 but can't side attack, so he's always going to be great for the front line. I'm only playing two Girls Feelings Leron now, because as it turns out, playing this at high numbers was kind of bricking me a little bit. It's not supposed to be played in the front line, it's just supposed to be used as a quick search later in the game. And its ability to pay a stock and discard a card to search any Team Die Gurren character certainly shows that. I am still playing the 4 Logon though, because that combination ability that you seek later on with some of the other cards is top tier. Plus, this ability to give any character 1500 power for a turn is very handy at all levels. I am still playing the playset of Simone the Digger, because A, his ability to give any character 1000 power for a turn if I control anything with Kamina in the name, and B, his ability to chance into draws with his Brainstorm ability is very handy and a pair of Strong Will Simone. If he's sent from the stage to the waiting room, I can discard a card to add a copy of Core Drill from my waiting room back to my hand. Next we move into the level 1 array. First is a play set of Heavy and Piercing Drill Logon. It gains a thousand power if there's two or more other Teen Dime Gurren characters, and he has a climax combo that lets you retrieve any character from your waiting room back to your hand if he reverses a character in battle. I also still have three copies of Its Name is Gurren, He's a beefy level 1, but he only stays that way while he has a marker. And when he's played, he can attach a card known as Bro Kamina, or Team Gurren's Leader Kamina, from the waiting room to him as a marker. And I am proud to say that I can now use both of those cards as targets. I've also included three Masculinity is about Fighting Spirit Kamina, which means yes, Simon the Digger's ability can now be triggered at level 1 as well. Kamina himself, however, gains 3,000 power. If Simon the Digger is on the stage, putting him at a higher power output than even its name is Gurren. Next, we move into the level 2 cards. First is 3 Gurren. When he's placed on stage, you can take up to 2 copies of Combined Gurren Logon in your waiting room and put them on the bottom of your deck, which feeds into its fusion ability. You can take a Logon on your stage and put it underneath it, and then take Combine Gurren Logon, which you just conveniently loaded into the bottom of the deck, and put it on top of him and Logon, essentially giving you a very cheap early play combination. I also play a pair of Communist Partner Simo. It powers up anything that's in front of it by 500 times its level, and it even gives Team Gurren's leader, Kamina, its own unique bonus of 500 power and the ability of, if its attack damage is cancelled by paying 2 stock and discarding 2 cards, you can do 4 damage. And I also have 3 Core Drill. It's another Brainstorm card, but this one's a bit different. First off, you can't play it unless you control a Team Die Gurren character, and there's a reason for that. You reveal the top three cards of your deck and put them in your waiting room. And then you take a character in your waiting room whose level is equal to or less than the number of Team Die Gurren characters you just revealed off the top three and put it in your hand. Then, one Team Die Gurren character you control gains 3,000 power until the end of the turn. Then we move into the level three cards. First off is three Combined Gurren Logon. It took me a while to realize that playing 4 of it wasn't really necessary, especially if I wanted to make room for some other cards that could be more beneficial. He's still a great card though, when he's played either from the hand or by the fusion ability of Gurren, for example, I draw 2 and discard 1. And if he successfully reverses a character in combat, I can pay 1 stock and discard 1 card from my hand to do 1 extra point of damage. The other level 3 character I now run is Team Gurren's leader Kamina. During your turn, he gains 500 power for each of your other Team Daigurin characters, and when he's placed on the stage, he heals you one point from your clock. And I am still playing a pair of Cross Counter. If I have a combined Gurren Logon that's currently in battle, it gives that character 3000 power, and if it successfully reverses a character in battle, this card also allows it to do four more damage. And finally, we have the Climax cards. 
I'm playing four copies of Bust Through the Heavens with your Drill, which when played lets you stock charge any red card from your waiting room and give every character you control a soul for a turn, and if it's triggered during one of your attack checks, it gives that attack an extra two soul. And the other climax I recently put in is four copies of On My Back In My Heart. During the turn you play it, it gives all characters you control a thousand power and a soul, but if it's triggered when you do an attack check, it lets you take any character in your waiting room and put it back in your hand. And that is the new build. I'm not a huge fan of playing two colored decks, but I'm starting to get more into it now thanks to this and a couple other builds you'll probably see later. And I can't lie, the multicolor builds are kind of appealing. They have a unique flavor and mix compared to monocolored decks, which is, for the most part, all I've really played up to this point. There's only one real alternative combination that I could do to this deck to make it any better than it probably really is right now, but that would require another $100 investment in a card called Kamina and its own unique climax called Later Buddy. I might invest in that combination later, but it would kind of take away from this build being a budget deck, which was the whole reason I played it in the first place. It was relatively cheap to make and improve. I thank you guys for watching the deck profile video. If you can think of any ways that I can improve this red, yellow, Gurren Lagann build, feel free to let me know. In the meantime, this has been Nanashi, signing out.